Hello friends of Onkyo, today we're talking about the amplification stage and Onkyo's non-phase shift amp, the solution to keep the distortion as low as possible. So tune into Inside Onkyo. Now we're at the amplification stage and there we've got a big problem if there's a phase shift. Let me quickly explain what phase shift really is. Just imagine the kick of a bass drum. Usually that's a very crisp sound, but if you have a phase shift at the bottom and at the high end of the frequencies, that sound really gets muddy and unclear. So if you want to have that crisp image of a sound, you really need to avoid phase shift. And we at Onkyo have a good solution to that problem with a non-phase shift amp. Let me explain that problem a little bit more closely. This is Bob. And Bob has an audible range between 20 Hz and 20 kHz. That's the audible range of all human beings, but Bob's the guy listening to our music. Let me show you what happens inside a conventional amplifier. Look at this chart, please. Up here we've got the distortion level, down here we've got the frequency. With rising frequency, the distortion level rises once the sound is amplified. So you can see it rising here exponentially. And to battle this problem, conventional amplifiers use the low-pass filter. Now, this line is supposed to be the low-pass filter. Once you introduce a low-pass filter into the equation, you also introduce phase shift. Now, since this low-pass filter has to come very close to Bob's audible range, the phase shift will occur inside the audible range. So Bob will actually hear the phase shift. Now, to avoid the problem of low-pass filter and phase shift within the audible range, we at Onkyo went a different way. We developed a linear wide range amplifier with an almost linear amplification far beyond the, the reach of 100 kilohertz, so far beyond Bob's audible range. Now, only far outside that range, we need to use a little bit of low pass filter to just cut off the high end of distortion. But that's so far away from the audible range of Bob that Bob never notices. This independence of the low pass filter for the audible range actually moves us close to the tube amp because the tube amp doesn't need a low-pass filter either. So that's probably why the Onkyo sound sometimes is described as warm and analog. So now you know how we at Onkyo deal with the amplification stage, stage two of our amplification process. If you want to know what we're doing in the output stage, the next stage of our amplification, tune into our next episode of Inside Onkyo. Hello friends of Onkyo, if you want to check out our next episode, please click here. Or if you've missed the last episode, click there. If you want to subscribe to our channel, please click there. And if you have any comments, any questions, anything you want to add, please enter in the comments below. See you back at Inside Onkyo.